Before we move on to a discussion of the neighbor discovery protocol in IP version 6 and also finding out how we joined all four of these groups without actually manually joining all four of these groups, we're going to find all of that out in the next couple of videos. But before we get there, I wanted to show you how you could use the interface identifier as the host portion of the global unicast address. And the thing is, you don't have to enter the interface identifier to do so. So let me show you how to do that, as well as how to remove an IP version 6 address. We're going to take the one off that we have here, and I'll just go up arrow. We just put it back on after doing a write erase off camera. And just did a control A to go to the front, and just put the word no in, and that is it. So what are we going to get now when we run show IP interface, excuse me, IPv6, almost had me interface. We're going to get nothing because anytime we run a show command and it shows us an empty line and then drops back down to the prompt, and we all know what that means, there's nothing to show us. So we're going to fix that, but we're going to use a slightly different method of configuring the version 6 address on that same interface. And let's go back up to that interface and I'll go back up to the address command. Now the address command is going to look almost the same, but what you're going to do is leave the host address off. So this is where we would end up being, and you go with a 64 here. Try that again. And we've got a couple of options here, and the one we're going to use is EUI64. Those are the rules we've been playing by so far as far as the interface identifier goes, and that's what we're sticking with. So we are saying here is the prefix, now I want to use the interface identifier as the rest of the address, as the host portion, if you will. And when I put EUI64 here, we have no other options. And let's run show IPv6 interface now. Ta-da! And you'll notice now the global unicast address is all this way, and then 21 b d 4 ff fec 2 and that sounds pretty familiar because it's all right up there. Also note that there's an EU over here just hanging off a little bit because the global unicast address is physically longer than it was. Anytime you see EUI there, that means that's how we arrived at that global unicast address. We use the EUI interface identifier to do so. So that's just another way to get the host address set up in case you don't want to go around manually going, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, we still had to do this one manually. So it sounds like we still would like to have DHCP around, and thankfully we do. DHCP is so embedded into IP version 6 that we actually have two different kinds. So we've got a discussion of those coming up, a demo or two, and plenty of information about the neighbor discovery protocol, and that's all coming up next.